Ghost here, what's up? Been a little bit of a delay. My little girl is sick, man, so you know that shit comes first, you know. She's uh she's doing it right now, so I'm back home, but one of my biggest questions I get is Ghost, what do you carry? What do you carry, bro? Well, what do I carry? This right here. This is the beast. This is the best thing to carry right here. In my opinion, this is the uh, Glock 29 10mm Auto, okay? The only things that I even did to it was I put the TLR6 on here, which works flawlessly and handles even the Underwood rounds, no problem. I run the um, the stock magazine with a Pierce extension grip. Which I had showed in another video. So, uh, and as you can see, that 10 millimeter is no joke. Okay, it's basically just a longer 40 Smith the Wesson with a shitload more power to it. Now, a Glock 20 would be, you know, better for this caliber because you're actually getting the actual uh, feet per second you want out of it. But for a carry. This this little chunky guy is perfect. This is what I carry. I have two G27s. I love them too. You know, they're, they're nice and easy to tuck in the 40. I went over videos on them, how to, you know, do the barrels and conversions. And it's nice because it's like having three in one. But um, the 10 millimeter, this is my go-to. The talent grips, love them. Love these talent grips. They're friggin' great. How, and you know how to put them on? Very, very simple. They even went on with the um, the back strap that I use. I like to use the uh, beaver tail back strap. Um, that's a medium. Uh, what do I carry with? Finding a fucking holster is hard. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I don't want to carry some big bulky thing around. Especially in the summertime. It is hot where I'm at. So... You know, and this will rub up against your skin a little bit, but ain't a bitch, so it don't bother me, you know, and I'm sure it won't bother many of you. This is the actual granulate, and the way I put this on was with a, um, what's called a blow dryer, and just would, was squeezing it with my hand until it was good, and then right after that, I took, the, you know, the slide off and tossed it in the freezer for a hot minute. Perfect. It hasn't moved, it hasn't shifted. Um, the TLR6 with the laser still works great. It's got a flashlight on there too. So, I mean, you got it both right there at your fingertips. Um, so, that, I recommend to carry the G29. What do I use to carry it with? Because the holster, <laughs> a fucking modified belly band. I know. Crazy, right? Now, the trick, and I'm sorry it looks a little grainy, but the trick here is what you want to do is cut the bottom out of the belly band here like I did check this out just cut the stitching and then it, you can fit it in there no problem I'll actually pause it and show you what it looks like inside there so give me one second here so here you go now I got it here in the, the belly band um, all you got you want to do is cut the stitching out here you take a, a knife and slowly start cutting the stitching out. And um, this is so comfortable in the hot ass weather. It, it just works great. I mean, you just pull up your boxes a little bit, unless you wear tidy whities. I don't know what to tell you. But if you wear boxes, just pull them up a bit. This won't rub up against your skin. This works really, really good. I've run pretty, you know, high speeds without it even, without it popping out of nothing. And you have the power of the 10 millimeter, so. I mean, I got kids, I don't fuck around when it comes to what I'm carrying, you know, so I have my uh, my permit, I'm going to go with the biggest beast I can get, um, you can see videos online of people putting out, putting down a, a lot of shit with, with the 10, mil, 10 millimeter for the 29, so, I mean, I've always said, you know, go big or go home, you know, um, 
So yeah, that's my answer for that. This is kind of going to be a, you know, kind of quick video, five minutes, whatever. But I recommend a G29 with the talent grips because, it you know, it's got a little bit, bit of kick to it. If you're going to use the Underwood um, ammo like I do. So, uh, definitely made a difference. So, this is how I go. People, I don't use the extended clips and everything like I showed you if I'm a carry. Because then it gets a little too bulky. And there's more than enough in there. Um, 10 plus 2. So, I mean, and if you keep one in there. Got 13. So, I mean, how much do you need? Especially 10 millimeter. Um, this is really going to reach out and touch somebody. So, uh, yeah, that's what I carry. So, this is what I recommend is a belly band. I know you're like, yo, ghost, dude, you, you, you seriously show me a belly band right now? Yes. Works great. You put it underneath the way, the way I roll, it works perfectly for that. So, it's a little grainy looking. I'm sorry about that because I'm much in the house here. But you want to, uh, just do like I did. Cut the stitching at the bottom. It works perfectly. So, that's my trick and that's my tip for you if you want. You know, fuck getting the holster that costs a lot of money. They're expensive and special ones to fit the light. This is just as good. And then it ain't even as comfortable either because it's some huge Kydex band. You don't want that. You know, it's too big. So, that's what I carry. G29, 10 millimeter auto. In this exact setup like this. That's what I use. So. Ghost out.